Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, Crochet by Katie Humes. Super glad you're here today. Today, for our Quick Tip Tuesday, we are going to learn how to go back down the foundation chain. So, last week we learned how to make a foundation chain, and this week I wanted to show you how to turn and go back. We made this foundation chain last week, and we talked about what you use, like what items you can make with a foundation chain because in amigurumi, usually like when you're making a little guy or something, you usually start at the top of the head and I always start with a magic ring. So I didn't use a foundation chain for his body, but I used a foundation chain to make this belly and to make baby shoes or if you were gonna make, like pretend this was like actually a little guy, you could make him a little shirt and then you would use, start with a foundation chain to make clothes. Any type of clothes you would be wanting to make, start with a foundation chain. Any of the baby dresses I've made, I start with a foundation chain. So, without further ado, here is how you turn. So, I'm trying to remember how many we chained. Let me count them real fast. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so this one is chain a chain of 15 and so that would mean I'm going to be needing to do 14 single crochets back because the last stitch that you do on the foundation chain is really your your turning chain so this one right here is your turning chain so really it would be like a foundation chain of 14 and then that last chain chain 15 is your turn chain so what you do is you do not go in that chain right there. You will not be putting your hook back into that chain, which this was so confusing for me when I first started. So that's why I want to go over it. So this chain right here, we're not going in, but you will be going into the next chain and you insert your hook. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a single crochet. If you need to use a double or a triple, this is how you do it, but this is just going to be a single crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then you have successfully turned. Now I'm going to pull this out and show you one more time. So we're back to our foundation chain of 15, which is really 14 plus the turning stitch. You do not go in this first one. You do go in this next one. Okay? So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then you're going to continue that all the way down the row. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up the loop, pull through. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and stop saying it out loud, but go ahead and finish this strip so that you can see what the next row would look like. Now, if you're gonna make a washcloth or something, this is an, something that you would start out doing, is your foundation chain, and then you would just go back with whatever stitch you're using. For some reason, I did not, my yarn ball is coming closer and closer to me. Okay, we're almost to the end. I was thinking I could pause and then keep going, but I just think I could do 15 stitches kind of fast. Well, 14. So I am on 13. Whoops. And see, it kept coming closer and closer. Now this last one should be 14. And you can go back and count. And that is how you do the second part of the foundation. Like, that is how you build onto your foundation chain. And let's count. Let's see if it really is. It should be 14. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There you have it. That is how you build onto your foundation chain for the second round of whatever you are making. I hope you have a wonderful day. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will talk to you later. Bye.